If you are dealing with a sick pet, then there is a real chance you might be becoming stressed, depressed, anxious, or even angry. All of these will affect your quality of life. Now this is a syndrome known as caregiver burden, and while it is well recognized in people who care for chronically ill family members, it has only recently been recognized in owners who have to look after sick pets. Now, this highlights just how important our dogs and cats are in our lives, and that they really are part of the family, and that's something that I feel very strongly about. And I believe in helping both you and your pet to live healthier, happier lives. So today I invited Chris over from the YouTube channel, The Rewired Soul, to come and give you three tips to help improve your mental health when dealing with a sick pet. Now, Chris is an expert when it comes to explaining mental health problems in a simple and really understandable way, and is just passionate about helping people and focusing on practical solutions to any mental health issue. So, quite apart from caregiver burden, if you have any form of mental health struggle, or if you know someone who does, then you really owe it to yourself to check out his channel, which I'll link down below. For now though, Take it away, Chris. What's up, everybody? My name is Chris, and I'm from the YouTube channel, The Rewired Soul, and my channel is all about mental health. So Dr. Alex invited me over to do this guest video, and I'm very, very appreciative of it. So first off, before I get started, I just wanted to say, if you are not subscribed to Our Pets Health yet, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Dr. Alex's channel is amazing, and it helps me out a lot. Don't worry, we'll wait. But on a serious note, let's jump into this. So Dr. Alex invited me over to discuss um, the mental health of pet owners when you're dealing with a sick pet. So as you just saw, I have a beautiful little cat named Maya. I am somebody who never really owned pets before and I've had Maya for a little over a year now and I kind of understand now where this love for pets come from. So I've been very fortunate that Maya hasn't fallen ill yet, but as somebody who is an advocate for mental health and teaches people about how to improve their mental health, I can understand how people get very distressed, depressed, anxious when they're dealing with a sick animal. And by the way, that's one of the reasons why I love what Dr. Alex is doing. When you understand more about the health of your pet, it helps calm down some of your depression and anxiety when you're dealing with a sick pet. But in this video, I'm gonna give you three tips on how to manage your mental health when dealing with a sick pet. So tip number one is self-care. So you might have heard that old analogy where they talk about when you go on a plane, there's a reason why they say, put your oxygen mask on first before you help somebody else. When we don't help ourselves, we can't help anybody or anything or any pet that we love love and care about. So the very first tip is making sure that your mental health is in order. That's why this video is so important. So when dealing with a sick pet, if you want to be there for your animal, you have to make sure that you're in a good place of being. Because if you're running around all anxious or depressed or can't get out of bed because you have a sick animal, how are you supposed to help your sick animal? One of the best tips I can give you for self-care is to remember, remember this, remember that your emotions come from a very good place. You wouldn't be feeling sad, you wouldn't be feeling anxious, you wouldn't be feeling worried about your pet unless it was coming from a place of love. So always remember that the source of the emotions that you're feeling are genuinely coming from a good place and that'll help you kind of cut yourself some slack and put you in a better place to take care of your pet. Tip number two is recognizing the difference between what you can and can't control. So anxiety feeds off of a lack of control. So when you feel like you're not in control, that's when the part of your brain called the amygdala runs haywire and it triggers a, a hormone called cortisol, which increases anxiety and stress. So one of the ways that you can start managing your anxiety when dealing with a sick pet is really start to dissect what you can and can't control. So unless you're watching this and you're a vet like Dr. Alex, chances are that you cannot control the care for your pet in certain aspects. So in this instance, make sure that you have a quality vet that you can turn to or even somebody like Dr. Alex who you can reach out to and ask for advice or support. Remember that 
since you're not the vet, there's only so much that you can control. Now, what can you control? You can control the love, attention, affection that you give to your pet. Once you take your pet to a vet and you get medicine, these are things that you can control, making sure that your pet is getting its medicine on time and you're taking the advice of the vet. When you help your brain separate the difference between what you can and cannot control, it really starts to reduce your anxiety so you can take care of your pet better. The third and final tip that I'm gonna give you is join Join a community. One way to do this right off the bat is joining the Our Pets Health community. There are other people who are pet owners out there who are in Dr. Alex's community who are potentially dealing with the same issues you're dealing with when you're dealing with a sick pet. The other thing that I always recommend to people for their mental health is Facebook groups. We live in 2018. Facebook is a great social media platform to meet with other people. So even a, um, a community of just other pet owners, dog, cat owners, or whatever little kind of critter you have, it's a great place to go. See, one of the biggest triggers for depression is this feeling of loneliness and alone. We feel like nobody else is dealing with our struggle. When that struggle is shared amongst a community of people, you start to see first off that you're not alone, but you also start to receive support. You'll start to meet other people who have been through what you're going through, and they'll teach you about how they got through it, and they'll be there for you. But the best part about it too is you have some people people who you can celebrate the successes with. So when your pet heals, when they get better, you have a community of people who are going to join with you in that celebratory fashion, you know what I mean? So a, a great way to deal with this is by joining a, joining a community so you're not alone and you guys can all celebrate together. All right, but anyways, again, Dr. Alex, thank you so much for having me as a guest on your channel. And if you guys didn't know this, Dr. Alex has actually done a couple videos over on my channel, The Rewired Soul, so make sure you come over and check those out too. And if you're into mental health stuff, if you wanna work on your anxiety, your depression, or anything that has to do with your emotional well-being, come on over, visit The Rewired Soul. I got over 200 videos, just for you, just for you, all right? But anyways, thanks so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs thumbs up for Dr. Alex. And again, if you haven't yet, make sure that you subscribe. All right. Thank you so much. Take care and we'll see you next time. Oh, wasn't that fantastic advice? I'm so excited that Chris came and talked to us and thanks so much for that. I really hope it helps you cope with your sick pet. And I just add that if you're feeling overwhelmed, if you're struggling to treat your pet, if you've become confused with what's going on, or if you're just finding all too much, then make sure you reach out to your vet and let them know. As a vet, I can only know if one of my clients is struggling. If they let me know, please don't be embarrassed or shy. We all just want to help and come up with strategies that work for everybody. Big thanks to Chris again for his amazing advice today. And remember to head over to The Rewired Soul for all of the information you need about any mental health issue. And until next time, I'm Dr. Alex from Our Pets Health. Take care of yourself.